Hey, what's up? This is Omari Harabin. Today I'm going to show you, um, or we're going to do a little comparison between three different Shopify page builders, Gem Pages, PageFly, and Shogun. Now, I actually used all three of these today on a project, and I thought it would be useful to share some of the pros and cons, um, what I learned working with these three different tools. Uh, just to give you some context, um, I'm basically recreating a Squarespace site in Shopify. So Squarespace is already a drag and drop kind of website builder. Um, but with Shopify, you either need to, you know, use one of these that I'm about to show you or um, or you get a really good template or a really good theme by a really good theme that already has the, the kind of styling that you want. And that's probably the, the easiest, simplest way to go about it. But again, if you're coming from, you know, you're trying to recreate a Squarespace site, it might be difficult to find a theme that is completely comparable. So in that case, you might want to use one of these. Um, another thing to mention about using these page builders is the your header and your footer that comes from your Shopify theme. So even if you buy a Shopify theme, essentially you're really kind of just, buy, at least as far as I've gotten, you're really kind of just buying the the header uh, functionality. Um, I guess maybe correct me if I'm wrong. Anyone out there? Um, but yeah, so let's jump in. I, the first one that I tried was PageFly, and um, it seemed to have the most recommendations. Uh, let's show you the dashboard here. All right, so this is what the dashboard looks like, and you can just start creating pages. So let's create create one just so I can show you. Um, and kicks out some some templates that you can start with. So this is really I didn't use any of these templates um, because I'm not starting from. All right, I'm recreating something. Um, but anyway. I think this is really useful, perhaps if, you know, there's a template here that is really close to your, you know, your industry, um, the style that you're going for, or you can just start blank. So I started with a blank, a blank page. And from there, you can start to drag in sections. So let's drag in a section and Let's say you want to have like an image on one side and some text on the other. So let's drag in an image. And then let's drag a text box over here. And, you know, you, you go from there. So let's say you, got, you want to add another section with three columns. You can do that. Um, where I started to, to experience some 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 trickiness um, is you can you can drag and you can move stuff like that. Um, you know, you can highlight your text and start styling it. So you're going to see a difference in a moment when I show you. Uh, what was the second one I tried? Gem pages. So this is PageFly. Um, so I want to change the font. Now, I was restricted or limited to Google fonts. Now, I'm sure I can add my own fonts, which I'm probably going to have to do. But I thought that constraint was uh, definitely worth noting. Um, so look, change the font size. Now, if I want to change the line height, I got to go to more settings to, to change that. If I want to change the color, then I have to change. I have to change. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not too good with with the mouse and the clicking. All right, so if I want to change the color to do that, now I did experience a little bit of like some glitchiness trying to change this kind of stuff. All of a sudden, you click in one area, you think you're doing something, and it just Easy now. I don't know. I didn't open a support ticket to figure out what that was about. It's enough, or I don't know if that glitch is just uh, unique to me and my not knowings. But anyway, uh, I found that 
for each element, you kind of have to go toggle and, and scroll through here to see what you can change, um, which which is fine. I ended up building the the home page out in PageFly, and it seemed to once I got the rhythm of it, um, it was pretty. It's all right. It was pretty cool. Um, I still have to go back in and make some edits to the text, but there you go. So that's PageFly. Um, I would give it. All right, I'm not going to give it any any rating, but it got the job done. So I'm kind of kind of happy with it. Uh, let's check out Gem Pages. So I also gave Gem Pages a try um, when I ran into my first little hiccup with with PageFly. So let me try this Gem Pages, and it's a bit simpler, a lot simpler actually. So you can see all of our elements here. We just drag and drop them in. Um, you know, move stuff around. So let's, let's grab our row. So you start with a row and then you can say, all right, we want to have this row. I want this to have three columns. So I want this to be structured like so. And then you can go back and say, all right, let's add, let's add an image over here. And then, you know what? Let's take out, let's take out this image. Doing too much. You know, let's leave the image. All right. So, but let's say you wanted to. Oh, say you wanted to switch this up, right? So you can put three rows in here, and then you can kind of create like a mosaic. So, I didn't do too much. Ended up not doing too much with with gem pages here. But as you can see, it's pretty simple. Um, Let's see, let's discard. Let's see if I can get to the uh, dashboard for you. So yeah, you just you know start creating a page and and you get to it. Now the third third one I'm going to show you is Shogun, uh, which I also used. Um, let's go to that about page for comparison. So while using Shogun, I did run into a a little problem. Um, it seems that, so between, um, using Shogun, I, I started off with a free Shopify theme and then I bought a Shopify theme. And after that I was experiencing some glitches. So I, I reached out to their support team and, um, I guess he turned back on JavaScript or JavaScript was off on my account and it was all fixed. So uh, while that was going on, I had switched back to PageFly and, and did some stuff. And then uh, when I checked, I came back to Shogun and everything was, was kind of fixed. So I was happy about that. Um, you can see Shogun is pretty similar or simple and just kind of like Gem Pages was, at least on the surface. And uh, let's see. Can, let's go to the dashboard. So here's the dashboard and, you know, you start by creating a new page and you can start with a template similar to PageFly. Um, kind of like these templates, just a teeny bit more. What did I say teeny bit? <laughs> a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, you know, you start with a template. I started with a blank page. Name the page. Uh get into it. So here's an alternate uh, layout for the for the home page that I started here in Shogun. And you can see basically what I did was I laid out the sections, laid out the columns. And so by the time I had gone through using PageFly and Gem Pages, I kind of got the, the gist of just how the Shopify page builders work and um, what I needed to do to, to be more efficient with it. Um, so in this case, I would drag these images over, you know, just load it up and then click on the images and take care of it like that. So yeah, uh, hopefully you found this useful. Let's take a look at the prices. So all of them are, you kind of get a free, free trial, hold on, free trial. Uh, 
but PageFly is the only one with like a free tier, and that includes, um, you know, some limitations: one page per page type, um, one save section. I don't think you you can do too much with that. Um, and then you know you, you kind of move up the scale here. Let's look at Gem Pages. So the highest price plan on PageFly is ninety nine dollars. Uh, gem pages kind of sits in the middle here, so it's not the most expensive and it's not the cheapest. Um, and then let's look at Shogun. So Shogun is on the higher end, where its middle tier is the higher than the other two. Um, but there's also some some other features here on the higher end. Some A/B testing. Uh, let's see what else here. Okay, A B testing, developer tools, page sync and content schedule content schedule and um some staff accounts, unique pages. So yeah, um I think if you're working with a lot of stores you might want to do that. And then if you you know you just want to try it out and then you say, All right, I don't want to use this anymore, you still get to keep your pages. You just um you wouldn't be able to edit them unless you, again, downloaded the app and, and paid for it. So, um, all in all, I would say, you know, give them give them a try. See which one feels right or, or best to you, uh, most comfortable. You know, consider the pricing. I think, uh, I think the next time I try this, I'll, I'm gonna use Gem Pages again and and see how far that can get me. Um, but today I've got, you know, a landing page that I created in Shogun and then I've got a bunch of other page or a landing page I created in PageFly and then a bunch of other pages I created in Shogun. Yeah, in Shogun. So, you know, you can use multiple, um, but clearly that's not ideal because you don't want to end up paying for, for multiple page builders. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I got. Hopefully this this little screen share video gives you a, a decent idea um and yeah peace